Hi there, welcome to this channel. And uh, I faced a problem. I was trying to run Cubase and I wanted it to recognize my audio interface. But unfortunately, it did not. And I was a bit stressed. I was about even to sell my good uh, Bain audio interface. And then I realized that I can, you know, bypass this and just still use my good uh, four-channel audio interface okay so i want to show you how i did that and i hope that this video is going to help you if you get value in this video you already know what to do boop that like button and above all subscribe so without further ado let's get started So my friend, I opened the Cubase. Let me show you how it was appearing first before I found out how to solve this. And I'm so glad I want to share with you because I know you might be facing this problem. Maybe your audio interface is not showing. So I'll click on recording and click create. Then if I come over here and add an audio track mono and uh, I want to record, you realize it doesn't record, okay? The reason is it doesn't identify my audio interface, okay? The ASIO, you know, audio driver that is installed does not recognize my very audio interface. If I come to devices and click on device setup, you realize if I click in here and choose on maybe ASIO direct, okay? You realize that still it will have problems because you can see all the channels are inactive and it's just hectic and I was like, um, I need to give up, okay? But I felt um, I need to try again and see if it's going to do. You see, it's not working. Even if I click in there, it's not working. So I felt so bad. But again, I want to share with you, right? So the first thing I wanted to do is first just minimize this and then come online and search for this. Just search ASIO for all, okay? Then click on the first link and then click here to, you know, download the universal, you know, audio interface or audio driver. So all I need to do is to scroll down here and uh, click on finally version 2.15. And once it loads, I'll scroll uh, down here, just like that, scroll and click on ASIO downloads and then um, load this. So I'll click on English because... I only understand English anyway. And then I'll click here to open this in my file explorer and I'm going to run this setup, okay? So just uh, run the setup. All right, what is happening? Okay, that's cool. Click on next and then I will accept the terms. Then click next, click install. And uh, the installation will be as quick as possible. My antivirus was reading it as a virus, so I just I told it, you know what? Just allow it, okay? Allow it. Please, this is fine. Then click on finish once it is done. Then what I want to do is to come back here. Um, where? Let me click on Cubase and say, okay. First, I want to exit or, okay, quit this without saving. Then delete, okay? And I want now to restart Cubase so that it senses the new, you know, driver. And it's telling you, you need to have this input, you know, it is not working, you need to fix it, okay? Please just click on okay. Then again, it's showing you the error, just say okay, or the warning, sorry. So what I need to do, first let me add here a track, and just like that. So if I, I can rename this to testing, all right, just like that. Then I'll click on devices, device setup. Then I'll click on VST. When I come here, please choose ASIO for all V2, then switch. And I'll come here on ASIO. Now you can see it is active in here, but there's something that I need to uh, at least change first. Uh, let me see, not connected. Okay, come back here. And then, uh, yet they are active but not connected, all right? So what do I need to do? Okay, click on control panel and then choose the USB. It has now recognized my audio interface, which is HD USB audio device. Click on that and you can also click on settings. The settings are pretty cool, okay? And then I'll come and uh, I want now to, what do I do? Let me restart this again so that it senses the changes. Uh, just like that, then again, open it. 
just keep on opening it until it recognizes the ASIO for all uh, driver. Okay, just give it some time to initialize and then click on um, create. Okay, then I want to come here, devices, then device setup, and then, um, okay, ASIO for all. That is pretty cool. Click on switch. And now look at that. The HD USB audio device has been active and that means I can happily record my music using this audio interface. Now I'll click on OK. Then I want to try and run this and see if it is. You can see when I talk, it's showing down here. Look at that. OK. It's showing as I talk, it's showing. So let me add here an audio track and say OK and uh, rename it to testing just like that and then i want to click here now look you look at the waves you see it's now recording as i talk it is recording my friend this is the happiest moment of your life when you see something that was disturbing you and it's still working after all those struggles you can even buy me some soda I'm just saying, my there's a phone number down there. So that is it, my friend. You see, it has worked. And I uh, uh, hope that this video has been helpful to you. And I said, if you know that it has helped you, please make sure that you like this video. And above all, subscribe for more videos. And if you have any question to ask, please feel free to draw me a comment. I'll be able to read the comment and reply to your comment otherwise i want you to click anywhere on this screen to watch our next video and until then please make sure that you keep creating